enters in the pride of the Bronx called Krauser. <laughs> with the lead and the steal by Krauser taking it the other way and dare I say and the kiss Ooh, the sweet little smooch now he's got a little hot dog in him yes he does you know fortunately Providence did not see the kiss so it's not rubbing it in well he played this well this solid they were worried about the three point shooting all the way to the Marshall out there X up, X up, it's good, right over left, you the best. <laughs> Welcome to Respect My Journey. I'm your host, Carl Krauser, the cruising King, King Krauser, a.k.a. that old black magic, baby. Let's get it. How y'all doing today? Happy Saturday. Always love. Y'all know what it is. The vibe, the energy has to be up. Yeah, let's go. And one. <laughs> I made up funny again. Whew. Boy, am I on the road. Whew. I'm on the road. <laughs> I'm on the road, kid. But, you know, today, just want to thank a few people, man. I want to thank the University of Pittsburgh men's basketball team, the fellas, the young brothers, XL, RMJ to y'all. Super cool. Y'all got the dub. Louisville, y'all whack. Y'all got the play out there. Number 10 looking like YG. Max on, wax on, wax. Max on, wax You know, we was wilding to that out in Dallas, B. I was going crazy to that. It was funny as ever, though. YG, salute to you, B. In future. <clears throat> Salute to y'all, man. I was sitting there looking. I'm like, yo, boy, look like YG, the rapper. Racks on racks on racks. That shit used to crack me up, boy. I'm telling you. And that beat used to bump, though. <laughs> that beat was hitting. Salute to them, yo. Good memories when I uh, hear that song, when I think of that song. Facts, man. Shalo, uh, salute. Shout out to Dallas. All oh, love the Triple D pause. You already know. I remember. I remember the Hell State. You already know Texas. I, yo, y'all know I overstand. But uh, salute to y'all. Salute to Pitt men's basketball team. My man Big John Hughley. Salute to my brother Ozzy Akuda for getting that scholarship. God bless. I'm glad Pitt used some of that money they done had. They got a gang of money, gang of chicken. You know what I mean? They finally gave my man this just do. He went through a lot, man. He went through a lot with holding a lot and being a strong young brother. He's built for life. And I'm so happy for you and your family. And I know they was working hard helping you. So I know you had that good background. Met those people. Those are some great people. That family is awesome. And to see Mama Love on there crying and showing her emotion and love for you, man. I know, man. You feel real proud and real happy, and they should be proud of you, too, as they are. And it's a super cool feeling just to even know you, just to even be a part of that journey, to see it, to talk to you, you know what I mean? And just to see you work in the gym and see you develop. I respect your journey, brother. That's a fact. You know what I mean? I know the shirt is reversed right quick, but it's always love. Yo, it was a great feeling to see that and to hear that, man. I'm telling you. I like when good, like, I like when good people... Good things happen to good people. You get what I'm saying? I like that. And I want people to believe in that. You know what I mean? Shout out to my brother Spider-Man. Made that respect my journey. He had that's that RMJ. You know what I mean? Super fire. I love it. But, you know, I got to show my man some love, kid. Always love, Spider. Appreciate you, man. Shout out to DC. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to B. Shout out to B. You no. Know. All love. Shout out to everybody, you know. His wife, B. All love. Shout out to everybody, man. And uh, shout out to my man, Burton. Burton out there. Don't hurt him, Burton. You know what I mean? It was certain that Burton went crazy. Lightweight went crazy. Man, Burton was out there like, he didn't care. He was locked in. Fuck it slow like it though. You know what I mean? He was out here doing it. I was felt, man. I re man, what we say? What he say? What he say? I appreciate your performance today. I appreciate it. Facts. I seen you out there trying. Sometimes you got to think about shot selection. 
But brother, I can respect it. Get what I'm saying? That's a fact. I only want the best for y'all. Great job during the interview too as well, man. After the game, you and Hughley, great job. Hughley, they too little. Rock the baby. Rock the baby. <laughs> I was awesome. I was awesome. I appreciate y'all, man. You know a way to step up and way to let them know. Give me the ball, Big Hughley. Let's go, Big John. Tell him, Big John, let's go. It's crazy out here, man. You know I'm going to get you a nickname. You know it's coming, boss. But straight up and down, it was all, it was it was fun, man. It was fun. I like that y'all beat YG and Louisville Cardinals. I like that y'all got y'all dub up. But I know it's going to have to extend through the whole year, and I know it's a difficult time. But, hey, keep fighting, man. It's cool. And um, that's about it on that one, man. You guys keep going. Keep doing your thing. And I'll make another video on y'all a different time because I have to give a couple of y'all nicknames and, you know, I have to do my thing and give y'all a prop and welcome. Good job, my man, Moji. Mogi, let's go. Avatar. Avatar. Let's go, New Yorker. Salute to you, man. I see you out there working, Avatar. Let's get it, kid. You know, salute, man. Way to block shots out there. Way to be around, like I said on these videos. Watch it, man. You're going to learn. Why not learn from the king? You get what I'm saying? It's a true story, man. Like, Mo, you are a very tough and dynamic player. You are one of those players that they need to understand. You can be way more and you can perform at a way higher level than what you're doing now. You can gain skills and you have a different type of upside than the rest of these guys. You have the height disadvantage. And you have ball handling skills from that position. And you know how to shoot those off the dribble shots. I know it. I've seen you shoot those. I've seen it when I came to watch, uh, come to watch y'all down there play the blue and uh, white and blue game. Excuse me. But, um... You know, I've seen that you can ball. I know you can ball. That's why I already said it, baby KD. You know what I mean? KD shadow. Let's go. But, yo, all true story and facts, you got to run the floor, beat your man down the floor. You got to get more pick and pops and more pick and slips. You have to understand. You have to be more aggressive, Mo. We need you, Avatar. We need you, brother. Let's go, man. Dang. Why why like why does somebody have to tell you when to go? You a bucket getter. You should know. Baby KD should know. Just go ahead and raise up. Hit him with that jumper, kid. Get what I'm saying? Because these people can't mess with you. You gotta go to the rack tough and aggressive. Get that in there. Get tough and dunk on these people. Finish them. Put that elbow up. Throw that knee up, man. You think they wanna get hit with that knee while you come down? Are you going straight through that lane after you hit somebody with that bop in and out? Oh, man, come on. Your arm's going to be all the way up there. You're going to go go gadget on them. You know what I mean? They're going to be sitting there. Oh, helmet. You know what I mean? They're going to duck helmet. You got time to watch it, man. Got back up. Restrict the airspace. Excuse me. You got to do it. But look, facts. That I, but I want to talk about forgiveness. Now, I've been talking to different people, and I've been... Forgiving people and people been telling me, you know, they apologize for certain things. And I'm all for that. You know what I mean? When it's like the truth and you understand certain things like me, I'm elevated in a way mentally, spiritually, physically, like in a different way. Like I'm like my comprehension of life is totally different, uh, different than somebody else's. Like a lot of people hasn't gone through what I've went through in the last 10 years. 11 years and even before in the past you know it's been real 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 trying times at different points in my life and it's been some amazing experiences where you have to forgive people you know when you you know certain things about your life and what happened to your life and how things work you catch on and you're like, wow. So you have to look at certain passages in the Bible like this one. Take a look and read it. 
Now, see, when you see things like that, you know, you think about, like, who am I not to give, uh, forgive people? Who am I not to, you know, try to understand why somebody did something else? Or sometimes you don't even want to talk about it anymore because it makes you angry to the point where you physically want to harm someone. And when you physically want to harm anyone, you should stay away from that person. So when you forgive somebody or you apologize as well, you already forgave them. So you're apologizing for your involvement in making the relationship shaky, making the relationship bad. You get what I'm saying? And anybody who holds stuff in in any relationship, friendship, male, female, you know, relationship, you know, it, it's... It makes everything shaky and the communication is a part of everything when it comes to any type of relationship that you have, whether it be business, whether it be friendship, and whether it be, you know, your relationship, your intimate relationship, you know, with someone. So it's like, it's tough to hear, it's tough to hear someone say, or you read or hear anything, someone say, I don't know what I did. It sound like when, when you talking to a girl, you catch a cheating, or the girl catch a dude cheating. And like they be like, <laughs> hit you with this. Tell me what I did. I don't know what I did. <laughs> you be like, what? <laughs> I'm only standing right here. <laughs> what? Why don't you go think about that shit and then, and then get back to me? What? <laughs> I bet I'm funny again, but this shit cracks me up. And my that's my word and my heart of hearts. That's why I'm like, when you're so elevated, man, you don't even care. Like, at a certain point, you don't even care about certain things anymore because you already know what the person's going to say. You already know the response. And that's why you never really over, over. When you want to apologize to somebody, do it on the phone. You don't want to text message to do too much of that either. But I've been getting a lot of people apologizing. I said I forgive them because... I apologize to somebody else. They forgave me. So, you know, who am I? Because of passages like this. Go on and read it. Peep it. See, you know, when you talk to me, I just try to be honest with y'all, man. I'll just always be honest, man. I'm an honest person. I'm a good person. I do not... Stop talking to somebody for no reason. Believe me. I told you. That's like I don't do nothing to no, to anyone for no reason. That's stupid. Doesn't make sense. They didn't do anything to me. We good. I don't care. I chill. I'm about my business. But don't act like nobody. Everybody that I don't talk to anymore for a while or I haven't talked to in a while is for, it's like it's for a reason. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's just that. That's just how it goes. Like, I don't just stop messing with people for no reason. You know what I mean? And if people wonder, oh, out of nowhere, what? And this is what you get sometimes when you hold stuff in and you don't, and you really not that person that holds stuff in. When you hold stuff in and you hold it in too long and then it's just going to come out bad and you're going to be angry again and the shit just, it isn't worth it. None of that stuff is worth it. Just rather grow, move on. If it needs to be talked about to a certain extent, then do so. If not, try to try to mend different relationships that you had before if you want it. If it's if it's like a good fit. If it isn't, you know your relationship is with that person is just too far gone, then hey, God bless them. That's it. You know what I mean? But you already forgave and you moved on. That's the proper thing to do. That's the right thing to do. You don't want to hold the grudges and stuff like that. You want to be somebody who sits down at a time and think of passages like this. Go on and read it. You know, because sometimes, man, it's rough. And we can use our brothers and sisters. We can use our relationships that we had before. And with their families, if they had kids, if they didn't have kids, you know what I mean? A lot of things, man, because it's it's worth building. 
if it's worth building. You get what I'm saying? If it's worth, you know, helping the relationship become better, do what you need to do. But the only thing you can do is show and prove. You're not out here like on some damn trial. I don't want you to feel like you're on trial. You got to go out your way and do this and that and do this and that and give money or whatever. Or I don't know what people want to do sometimes when they feel like they want to make something better or relationship better. They go out their way and try to do extra stuff. No. You know, you can show your loyalty by being the same person you was, a good person, before everything happened. A good, solid person. If you were the type of person that was there for people when they had problems, you know, however you can help, you're there. That's how it is. Get what I'm saying? But passages like this help me out sometimes. All right, go on and read it. There you go. See, that's why I appreciate y'all people, man, because y'all here with me and we rock and we vibing, you know, and all of these things that I'm showing y'all like this one. This one right here, man, that one right there, that's a special one. That one, you know, like some people, they, they really think that they're above saying I'm sorry. They're above an apology. You know, giving an apology to somebody. And I think that you need to really sit down and look at yourself, man. And really understand you're a human being yourself. And you're not above any apology. God isn't. You're not. And we are a piece of God's light. This is what it is. He's blessed us. Get what I'm saying? And some of us, we're canning through blood. Some of us aren't. Some of us are just brothers in Christ like some of us are just brothers, period. We gain relationships by being around each other, learning from each other, understanding each other, appreciating each other, and embracing each other, and helping each other grow, man. And I think it's, uh, I think it's, uh, what do you say? I think it's very important. I think it's very important for a lot of people to go ahead, if you have any type of relationships that need to be mended, put your big girl, big pants on, your big girl, nice fits on, your big boy pants on, and y'all go out there, pick up the phone and talk to these people, or you know you, you how you communicate, how you communicate, and you get a chance to talk and see the person, do that, man, and, and hash it out, get it done, and move on. You'll feel better. You'll feel better. You know, and it does feel better to communicate the right way than going through extra stuff. So if anybody enjoyed these passages like this one, I advise y'all to stay tuned, man. Take a look. I advise y'all to stay tuned, you know what I mean? It's going to be a lot of different things coming. And I'm just taking my time, slow grind, you know, trying to get to that thousand subscribers still. But I'm glad that I had a chance to hear from some people, man, I haven't heard from in years. And some other people I haven't heard from in a decade almost. And other people I haven't heard from, you know, a few months. And uh, like I said, I'm not above giving any apology to anybody if it's deserved but I haven't done anything so it's all love with people that's trying to attack me in a negative way hey I see where it is I understand I overstood it already I already peeped it I know who are my friends I know who are my like people that just don't like me I get it you know what I mean but hey I can't control that all I'm doing is minding my business and trying to work and become better and that's what I think people should do, man. Worry about uniting people and working together than talking this next extra negative stuff that isn't helping anybody. It's right over left. We the best, man. Respect my journey. We here, baby. It's on.
telling you I'm going to have more episodes. It's going to be crazy. I'm going to promote more games. I'm going to put up more games. I'm going to show myself dribbling, getting down in the gym. I'm going to show y'all how I got my handle right. You know, I'm going to show y'all how I got the jumper right. I'm going to show y'all a few different things. But at the same time, I'm going to show y'all how I'm getting myself in shape. You know, to a certain extent. You never know. But, hey, it's right over left. Be the best again, baby. X up. All love. Peace. I'll be there, kid. X up. Like magic. Peace.
Tonight, uh, Lenny and uh, Dan, they call it the Boogie Down Bronx. Back to you guys. 